we're learning disturbing new details about the madman who carried out the massacre in Dayton. Shooter is down. 24-year-old Connor Betts fantasized about killing people as far back as high school. We found eerie photos on his MySpace page showing his face covered in a bandana. In another, he's wearing a gas mask. He posted these bizarre writings, bloody massacre, absolute carnage, and all must be annihilated. He also tweeted, I am going to hell and I'm not coming back. In 2012, he scrawled a hit list of classmates on the bathroom wall at Bellbrook High School. Another depraved list consisted of girls he wanted to rape. He was suspended but was later allowed to re-enroll. He graduated in 2013. Women who knew Betts at school tell Inside Edition he creeped them out. A coworker of his at Chipotle said that maybe if a customer wouldn't tip him, he would say, you know, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to go to their house and kill them. On Sunday morning, Betts turned his sick fantasies into reality. Among the nine he shot to death, his own 22-year-old sister, Megan. The terror was caught on surveillance video. The video shows people fleeing. Hero police officers move in and take the killer down in less than 30 seconds. We think there's one shooter. He is down. Today, flowers and candles mark the spots where victims died. Democratic presidential candidate Tim Ryan was at the scene. The American people don't feel safe. They're walking around and they think there's not a place they could go in the United States where they feel safe. They can't go to City Hall, they can't go to church, they can't go shop at Walmart, they can't go out and have a few beers on a Saturday night. At a vigil Sunday, nine doves were released, one for each of the victims.